Hello scholars. Today we're going to be finally testing out our design. We've worked so hard all week to create our vehicle to help Susie Mouse. My first vehicle I named the Blue Beaded Beast. Remember I talked about using those beads as wheels? Um, this was my best flooring here. It had the least amount of friction. The only thing that I will say will probably stop our vehicle is going to be um, the area of increased friction in between the tiles here. So let's go ahead for trial one. I'm gonna time this here. I have a timer. Go. Let's see how far. Five, six, we're at seven, eight seconds eight seconds for our first trial so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to record that i want to remind you that um i don't have enough wind energy at my house i'm actually using a fan here so that's going to be electric energy as well as mechanical energy let's go ahead and try trial number two all right for trial two i'm going to turn my fan on now ready Okay, six seconds that time. Ready for trial three. All right, the blue beaded beast for its third and final trial. Ready? Six seconds of speed, fabulous. All right, now for our second design. Overall, I was really proud of design one. I can see uh, my sail is starting to fall after all those trials, but I was really pleased with the way the sail was able to utilize the push force of the wind energy and, and move our vehicle forward. I was happy with how the, the beads worked. Um, there was a good amount of friction. I was able to really keep that thing moving, but I couldn't help but thinking what would happen if I went bigger. Um, I thought maybe if I did a bigger sale, something to, to really utilize that, that push force. So for my second design, the thing that I focused on was the sail, and I also wondered what would happen with bigger wheels. So I'm an engineer, and I can kind of mix things up. So you can see here that I utilized um, CDs for my wheels. You can come over here and see I hot glued some... Um, bottle tabs on there some soda bottles so i was just trying to keep those wheels on so that they were able to move forward um with the put help of the push force you can also see here that i have a plastic bag as my sail so this one's significantly bigger the one thing i will say about my redesign is that it's it has much more mass and i'm wondering what's going to be more effective so let's find out trial one I want to fluff up my sail here. Oh, wow. Only about two seconds of movement on that one, scholars. Oop. Looking like a much, much less effective redesign, but that's okay. Um, that's what we do, you know, we see maybe because these wheels are falling over, maybe if I had found a way to really get them on there to rotate, but that's all right. I tried, I tried to go a little fancier and test and see what would work out. And now I know that I probably should have just reworked this design instead of starting over. Let's try it again. All right, about three seconds that time. I'm gonna come record that here. Okay, one more trial. Oh, four seconds. That was the longest one that we've had so far. So um, I want you to think about some of the things that didn't work in my second trial. 
What do you think some of my errors might be? I'm definitely thinking that mass has a big, a big, um, is a big contributing factor in this because this one is substantially larger and, and filled with more mass than this one here. So my wind energy was probably able to push this one much easier. But I do think that, um, you know, we, we tried out a couple different things. We wanted to see what would work. I want to know what would you name this one here, our failed design? What would you name that one? Answer in the exit slip below.